As creative people, we romanticize summertime, but when it comes, we're not taking full advantage of it and it feels like a waste. So here are some ways to be artistic this summer before it slips away. This is the time to make art outside. Combine being in nature and some exercise with making or preparing for an artwork. Maybe when going to the beach, instead of a book, take a sketchbook with you while laying by the water. Or go to the park for some plein air drawing. Take a paper pad, some pencils or charcoal sticks and a picnic blanket or a mat to sit on with you and choose an interesting tree to sketch. Or go to a garden or take a bike trip and go for a sketching picnic. Go take a walk in the forest and find a nice little landscape or some detail to sketch and maybe use as an idea for a painting later. Go sketch in a flower field or pick out a bouquet to draw. Or maybe just sketch in the balcony. Take a travel watercolor set to do little paint sketches outside. Maybe around some interesting buildings or by nature. A fun bonus is taking a photo of your painting in front of the scene you painted. You could try painting outside even if you're not painting the scene you're in. I tried working on a paint by numbers on a pier. Diamond painting outdoors might be a bit more difficult, but it's doable. This is also how to be social as an introverted artist. I've done this a few times by accident, but if you go sketch in a park or whatever public place at an area where people walk by, like close to a pathway, you'll get people stopping and looking and maybe asking what you're doing. I was sketching at a botanical garden and there was a photographer who wanted to include people in her photos of the garden and she asked to take one of me while I was sketching on a bench. This one might be a bit more difficult to execute, but you get a different perspective by rowing a boat and sketching the shore from the water. This won't work if it's very windy though. The boat would go all over the place while you're trying to sketch. So maybe just take a photo from the boat. Which brings me to the next tip. Remember to take reference photos for possible paintings, because even though my expectation might be that I'm sitting on the picnic blanket in my summer dress with a straw hat, with a sketchbook in hand, the reality might be... bugs everywhere. In which case it's easier to take the photos outside and make the art inside. It might also be nice to draw or paint during the winter using those summer photos as references. My favorite way to utilize summer in art is painting on things you can find outside like pressed leaves or flowers and using them as part of collage art too. You could paint on rocks to make little decorations and customize plant pots for your garden, balcony or indoors by painting on them. Or if you usually paint and draw on paper and canvas, try painting on wood instead. You could even try painting with things you find outside, like berries. I got this idea from the science park a few years ago, but last week I picked some blueberries. You really don't need that many for this. And mixed them with water and used it as watercolor paint with my knees. Blueberry juice or frozen blueberries work too if you can't go blueberry picking. It makes surprisingly saturated paint. And the colors vary from red to purple to blue. For even more summer art ideas that you can turn into actually practical items you can use, watch this video next. See you there!